Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada, where we last left off. While scavenging, the group runs into a man covered in cardboard boxes. He says he's been stuck there for days. He has a nightstick lying on the ground outside of his reach. Should someone steal his weapon? I don't wanna, I wanna help him. <gasps> you butthead! Look what Aww. it did to your morale. Was well, that worth a nightstick? It's a zombie apocalypse, of course I'm with But it's messing with your morale, man. You're gonna be too depressed to even use that nightstick. For the record, group, I wanted to help him. Uh, I <laughs> Come on, I was just joking. <laughs> he still gets kicked out. <laughs> so now we're both dead. We're both dead. Well, that's now. what you get for being a jerk. Thanks. Appreciate it. While driving on the death road, Georgianne decides to which, stop just clicking things. <laughs> I couldn't read the last one either. You kicked me out. Exactly. <laughs> What's because you stole the guy's nightstick? Sees four people in bright, shiny outfits. They're running around punching zombies and doing little poses. They get overwhelmed by the swarm and flee in different directions. Swarm size, very thick. Aggression, irritated. Current time, late afternoon. You just got us killed. <laughs> Yeah, I'll try and save him. Well, you got a nightstick. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. How am I supposed to save them? I don't even know where they are. That's where you're gonna look. Oh, God. Not in there. I'm already dead. You got this. I do not have this. Go down. Go down now. I, I'm down as far as I can go. <laughs> uh oh, we got a go, crawler. Go, go, go. Oh, God. This is a bad place to be. How am I saving them? Where are they? Oh, this map is big. Rangers! Danger Rangers! Probably in that house right there. They gotta be somewhere, right? Oh no. Oh good lord. Oh god. Stick and move. Stick and move. I got a food. Oh, you found him. Blue says he got separated from his team. He does a few little poses for no good reason. Okay. Is he helping me? We'll find out. Uh, he's following me. Come on, Blue. Yeah, he's helping you. Oh my god. Well, he better. This way. Yeah, try to get the zombies to come up like that. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. Come on, Blue! Blue, come on! Grab this! So do we have to find them all? He's just him. You can get him and go. So I can just leave? Yeah, just go up. Yep. Come on, Blue. Get away. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. oh, God. He's so much bad. Ooh. Stick and move. Stick and move. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Come on, Blue. Come on, Danger Ranger. Get away from Betsy. That's the name of the car. Good job. <sighs> now we need to escape that swarm suburb blue gives an inspirational pep talk georgian moral increases she feels inadequate over not finding everyone but did blue come with nope finds a safe place to camp the night passes with no incidents and i had a burger and you're getting ready right to run out of gas i wonder how bad they have it on the west coast Drives into a new city. Noises from the car have already started to draw attention from the undead. Um, yeah, coffee shop. You're good to go. I guess. So the wrench seems to take more stamina. Yes, but it'll hurt them quicker, you know, yeah. if you know what I mean. We want to take more... Wh good lord! <laughs> well, they're irritated. I see this. Sure would be easier if you hadn't decided to kick yourself out of the group. Let me go! Oh, you injured yourself. He bit me. 
Get out of here, Zombo. Give me toilet gas. There's no toilet gas. The only uh, when you see a toilet that's closed, you'll get toilet gas. So it's got to be closed. Yes. Okay. Ah, I'm stuck on a chair. Uh, get your pistol out. I don't think I brought it with me. Nope. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Now don't forget to close the door. I always do. Huh? At least she's fast on her feet. Arrgh. Oh god. <laughs> this is stressful. Oh, this may not be a good place to be. Too late. I'm in here. Through the power of my purple jacket, I will survive, or I won't. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> purple jacket power! Activate! Get that. Yep. Good job. Get back. Get back. I want that item. Oh, God. It's going to get me killed. My greed. My greed always gets me killed in games like this. I remembered. Aren't you proud of me? Good job. Junk. That junk inside your trunk? Apparently. But you can't see through my purple jacket. Ooh, that little guy's dead. It's just a piece of wood. Hey, I'll take it. Whoa. I'm leaving. <laughs> I got some stuff. Go! Ah, this really is a lot more stressful than it looks. And now I'm almost out of gas. I'm out right. So does this game usually end in catastrophe, or is this just because we suck? Well, ooh, a rock. Until we get... It's yeah. next to a low fence guarding a big fall. At the bottom of this drop is a single zombie standing there staring at nothing in particular. Feels a burning desire to throw the rock at this zombie. Yeah. Compelled to throw a rock at the hapless zombie, she not only misses, but performs a really embarrassing throw. Stumbles and nearly falls over the fence and off the cliff. So her strength is terrible, her fitness is even worse, and her morale went down. Good job, Georgina. Well, I'm not trying to stop in cities. An inn, open for business. Uh, She's super creepy. You know what? Yeah. We stay night at the end. No one wants zombies creeping while they're sleeping. <laughs> Lose food 10, but the innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast. So she was just creepy. She couldn't help it. Car's completely run out of gas and coasts to a stop. Car abandoned. Now you oh, will. Wow, she's fast. Robbed by weak bandits. The bandits are of a kind that would normally not be a problem if Georgian had a car or wasn't tired from walking all. <laughs> Oh, I thought I'd get to actually fight them. Hey, after a short fight, they ran, and my morale went up again. Georgian thought she spotted a car in the distance. It was only when she got close to it she realized it was just a giant rock. What a shame. My morale is really high for just, like, jumping, running down the road. Hiking down a gravel road when she sees a group of wrecked cars ahead. Chances are there's gasoline in some cars, and one may still work. Good lord. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna die. You need to be fast. And I need the pistol. And here's the thing. You're going to need to get some gas, too, probably. Oh, there you go. Oh, good. There's some. Oh, there's some. There's some gas. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yep. All right. Go, go, go. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, I could have searched that one. Mm -hmm. I ain't going back. No, don't. Do not. At least here, there's plenty of, like, open room to run, you know? Yeah. I'll search that one, because I saw it. Oh, God, but it made me stop for a second. You got a rusty car burger. I'll take it. Get in, go, 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 go. Go, go, go! Uh, uh. All right. 
We got a car and some gas. Now we just need to get somebody for you. We lack enough medical supplies? So does that mean she's good at like being a doctor? Someone's camp hidden behind an empty town. There's a woman dressed in medieval clothing like she's at a renaissance fair. She's sparring the air with a fencing foil. She stops slashing her sword eventually, but never puts her rapier down. When talking to her, she seems like a pretty normal person despite appearances. Well, come on. Newell points her blade to the sky and belts out. Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> no one can stop my blade. It's briefly unsettling after she was talking so normally. She then slashes the air in a grand fashion while laughing for about four straight minutes. So, yeah. Onward to Canada. The plot thickens. Alrighty. Yay, Josh has a new character. I'm about to die. Nah, you're good. You got um some medical supplies. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. Well, those are both red, so I imagine we're going to die. It's going to be bad. Yeah, so... let's do it. A person fleeing into a rest stop. Uh, so we got to stay there. We got to keep alive for a whole hour. Or an hour in here. Right. Not like a real hour. No, not a real hour. Well, I guess I'll keep my tire iron. And keep your weapon. Yeah. You've got a sword. That's and, pretty dope. And I'll, Oh, and she, like, it's permanent. So does that mean she can use it, like, forever? If it, and, until it breaks. Does it break, though? I don't know. I haven't, I've never seen. Cool. You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, God. Um, so should we be going into buildings? Oh, I guess so. Oh, God. I was trying to... Uh, yeah, man. You keep sorting it up. Oh, there's somebody in here. Let's keep him alive. Kim says that he really wants to get out of this place. He asks if he can follow you around. Absolutely. The more the merrier. Alright, so we gotta get him out of here alive. He'll be my backup character for when I eventually die. So does it tell us when we can leave, or do we just need yes, to pay attention? Yes, it usually tells us when to leave, but we need to get out. Oh, I see that. We'll cause a distraction. Oh, you caused a distraction. It was for me. Come on. Come on, Kim. Oh, God. Oh, bug it, bug it, bug it. Oh, God. Oh, God. The siege is over. You can now try to escape. Uh, we're almost out of gas. Should we, though? Uh, oh, God. All right, let's lure him. Let's see. I'm stuck. Help me, Kim. Go, go, go. Come on. Come on, Kim. Come Where's on. our car? We got to go on the side. I oh, so think. we just leave? Like, yeah. on foot? I believe so. Yep. Walk back to the road. Yes. <sighs> now, later on... He catches on... up with the group at a safe spot. He offers a reward, and thanks for saving him. Sizes up his skills. Medic is bad. Mechanic is good. Shooting is bad. Strength is bad. Fitness is good. Wits and attitude are good. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, so we can, like, take mechanical training, him, or 15 food? Yeah, we gotta pick one. Let's take him. I'm probably going to die soon. <clears throat> Onward to Canada. We've got three people now. So we need to get more food. Yeah. So... We got one Zombo point. Right now, with the Zombo point, let's see. Kim smells funny. Not ha ha funny. <laughs> So I should be able to fix the car. Well, oh, no, that's just what I had as a wrench. Never mind. Gotcha. Um, so I guess we'll just leave him. Or I could send him in and let her rest. And then she'll probably heal, right? If we had... didn't use our pistol. Why am I out of ammo for it? Do you see that? Yeah. It said zero? I... That was weird. I'm going to unequip everything. Just in case that does heal. I can see myself getting into if hockey. I'm, if I'm not mistaken, somebody has to be a healer to use the to use the heal. Okay. That we got. 
Car is running fine, but an error code shows up on the dashboard. The group has no idea what's wrong, so they pull over to see what's up. Well, he carefully inspects it, Newell well, kicks it a lot, or punches it real hard. Let's carefully inspect it. Finds the problem. It was just a loose gas cap. Easy to fix. I imagine that could have gone much worse, though. There's no hope for us. But her morale's high. Large campsite occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. None are heading to Canada. Camp with them? Or Newell yeah. doesn't trust them? I say camp with them. I feel like this is kind of an interesting thing. Like, why would it bring up just her saying she doesn't trust Just to them? mess with us. Well, it's working. Well, you, dude, Newell don't trust them. Okay. She doesn't trust anyone in the camp. She stays up all night watching for any signs of trouble. Nothing happens, and she's exhausted in the morning. <laughs> She's tired. We're lost, aren't we? So do we need more medical supplies, or do we need a doctor? We... Very out of place vending machine. It looks like someone made it from chunks of scrap iron. Its lights are still on. Everything in the machine costs 20 bucks, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. Gasoline Fruit can. Rifle? Smart. Who should feed the mostly rotted dollar bills into the machine? This will be a very annoying process. Kim? Yeah, give it to Kim. It takes forever to feed in the dollar bills. The vending machine keeps spitting them out. Morale goes down. A jerry can of gasoline plops out of the vending machine. Get gas. 30. Sweet. There we go. Driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have eight food find someone they can trade with. Sure, we'll visit. A woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large amount of food and drink. I got food. I'm looking for some great weapons. Quick look at what George Ann is carrying. She doesn't see anything that she wants. However, there's something you can sell sitting in the car's trunk. In our trunk? Oh, like what we're carrying. Does yeah. she want bits of wood? Give them all and the entire wood. iron. Let's let's see what happens with those. No. Okay. Let's try again. A nightstick is really good. The flashlight's kind of useless. Let's so give him. Try to do the flashlight and the cane. Yeah. Hmm. Just doesn't want it. So the the only thing she might be... I, I'm just curious if she's interested in the nightstick or the gun. Probably the gun. And we shouldn't do that. Maybe. We'll see. One food? Absolutely not. No. I'm a hitter. <laughs> what about this guy? Group sees a man standing near SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give you two canes of food for every 25. <laughs> we don't even... <laughs> no. Sorry, pal. What's up this way? How'd you switch? I have no idea. Neat. Exercise equipment. Oh. oh. Can we, like, go in? Oh, shotgun shells. I guess nobody minds. Later, gator. There we go. Hey, get out of our house! I'll distract him. You take his gas. His toilet gas. I took the toilet gas. Good man. Let's say Bullets, help. whatever. Medicine we might need. Traveling medicine he salesman. He's carrying two sick cases of medical supplies. We already got three things of medical. Yeah, but it keeps saying we don't have enough to heal. Oh, does it? Yeah. But are we gonna starve? We're fine. Yeah, we got a backup character. What about this person? Money? Do we need money? God, it's hard to get oh. around. Decked out in sweatbands, limb warmers, and garish exercise clothes. Only the fittest will survive in this zombie-filled world. I can help you get fit fast. She's been continuously running in place this whole time. You have eight food, and it's six food for training. We just don't have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough. And Next time. God, your sword is dope. Come on, Kim. Well, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to steal this guy's car. It's way nicer. <laughs> uh -huh. Alright, guys. 
Well, that wasn't good for anything. So, hang on a second. Okay, so you can just hold A there, too. Well, we're almost out of gas and food. Huge city, conquered by the undead. Sees that their only chance is braving the sewer system. Oh, And we're not going to find any food. So let's dive in. Um, with George Ann Hurt, I think I'm going to be Kim. Yeah, um... I think George Ann is going to be coming with us anyway, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay, so we have to unequip stuff first. If she does come with us, we'll give her stuff to fight. But stuff that I don't mind losing. <laughs> Oh, you know what we should take? The flashlight. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's do it. Yep, she did. Left, left, left. Oh, God. Left, left, left. She's dead. <laughs> what? She got swarmed and died because she stupidly ran up there. Of course she did. Oh, God. Yeah, you cover me. I'll be the light man. Left. Go. I'm stuck! How do, how, how do you enter the damn thing? You press A to open it. Once it's open, you just walk through. Oh god! I need cover! Your sword skills are superior! Oh god! Oh god! Stick and move! Stick and move! Uh, ooh. Look out! There we go, there we go. Oh, I can actually see pretty well in here. Well, I'm a dinkus. He seems like a pretty decent character, too. <laughs> Up. Oh, God. Down! Down is the right way! <laughs> I was rock! I need help. Oh. I'm surrounded! This is a team game! <laughs> What's this one? Death. Well, death's everywhere. More death. Oh, I see. Oh God, no! I'm coming with you so you can go. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh God, it's the stamina mechanic that really gets you. Oh God. <laughs> I have you now. Oh, look, a hidden freaking door. Get the. Get. Well? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, we're doomed. Absolutely doomed. <laughs> Come on, give me it. I couldn't could get out. Let's see what I can do with this pistol. If I carry you to the car, does it like bring now, you back? I am dead. Because it wouldn't let me get out the door. Well, how do I get your sword? I have no idea. I don't think you uh, can. Don't eat her. She was my friend! Oh, I'm hitting him with a pistol. Might want to get out of there. No, I'm not going to leave you behind. <laughs> she would want to Let's go! Way. I'm not going to leave you here. No, I'm not going to leave you here. I am going to throw you a little bit. Oh, it uses up stamina to carry you. Oh god, I can use you as a distraction. <laughs> That's terrible. But, you know, you're still helping. You, you be, just go. No. Just go. I'm not leaving without you. It also won't let me open a door while I'm holding you. There's the exit. I'm so close to getting you out of here. Oh. Goodbye, fair friend. 
Well, I got enough food now. <laughs> Still no gas. Feels like he's getting the hang of this. Choose a reward. Medical. I don't know. He's probably just gonna die <laughs> the next time we run into anything anyways. Sure. Medical. Practice makes perfect. Hey, we got more Zombo points. Is 10 as many as you can get, and then I guess we upgrade and start over? Maybe. Have no idea. Completely out of gas. Hoof it, Kim. <laughs> While walking, Kim stubs his toe. Badly. It's not a big deal, but it's really annoying. Morale goes down, and I'm hurt. About right. Spots an old boot. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size, but hey, it's free. This is surely a symbol of good luck. Get that boot. <laughs> Why? Car parked in the middle of the road. They rush over to discover. Car looks suspiciously like the car they started their journey in. Kim takes the keys that he kept from the old car, sticks into the ignition. It starts. Here we go again. With full gas. After a long drive, Kim scouts out a camping spot, falls asleep immediately after. Eats a decent meal. Morale goes up, I think? From bad to eh. Eh. Kim is fully healed by Kim. Kim treats all of his wounds. Good call on the medical. Five bandits ambush Kim while he's about to sneak into a zombie-infested house. The bandits speak in a half-whisper, afraid to attract undead attention. They say to hand them over some supplies or they'll yell. Call their bluff. Calls the bandits bluff. The bandits were all talk. Don't make a sound when their bluff is called. Kim goes back to the car as the bandits creep away. Stupid bandits! Maybe I should wait in the car next time we stop in a town to, uh, hold the fort? Why are you talking to you, though? what you do, man. It gets crazy around here. Uh, well, let's see. Red, red, not red. Hospital raid, yeah. Yeah. Hospital. Medical supplies can often still be found in places like this, due to the large amount of undead still wandering around. Neat. I'll try and... Throwing boot? <laughs> yeah, I'm taking the throwing boot with me. Nice. Wow. Um, that must be like a throwing boot plus two. I'm good. I don't know. There's nothing in there. Nothing? Mm -mm. I'm trying to avoid Zambos, so I can't really always scout it out. You know what I'm spraying? I understand. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we're good. They're sluggish. What's up this way? There's a Big jar of mayo! More scalpels. You need to go in there. Yeah, get... I see it. Um, this boot was clearly a good thing to pick up. <laughs> what is this? Uh... Uh, well, I'm going to trade out the scalpel for it. Definitely not trading out my throwing boot. You might wanna. Nah, the boot's got this. <laughs> I'm gonna clear this whole map with a boot. <gasps> Healing spray. And it's empty. Nice. Ooh. So is that just not a good weapon? It it's short. It, it it's it's a scalpel. You ain't gonna do much with it. I don't know. They cut people up with scalpels all the time. The boot. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This way. <laughs> oh no. You messed up. Nope. I got this. No. I got this. Go, go, go. Good job. I remember. Good job. Man, that boot's badass. Must be still toe. Ba oh, no. The controls are a little too sticky in this. Yeah. But, I'm, I mean... I was having a problem getting through the door. Some of the doors I am. Uh, I didn't see anywhere else to go, did you? Um, Say no, stay here. Go to the right. I already went that way. 
Uh, okay, then I think that's it. Get the hell out. I think I can get around these guys. Yeah, you got it. There you go. I was hoping to find a new character for you. Oh, God. <laughs> yes, let's go. Got some good medicine. Which is good in case we get hurt or we find someone who is hurt. A new person, Isaiah. He's alone and wants to join the team. Claims to be physically fit. Shows off an elaborate stretching routine to prove it. Come with us, Isaiah. Onward to Canada. Isaiah's in a bad mood. The group couldn't find any safe shelters, but was able to cobble, cobble together a campsite. That's hard to say. The weather's terrible all night. Isaiah thought the weather was nice. <laughs> you know I like that dreary rain. I actually love dreary rain. Like, rainy days are my favorite, but that's because there's no sun, and the sun burns. The group runs into a horde of zombies. Whatever will we do? Find out next time. Thanks so much for watching. I highly appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Later. Bye.